his streams. So if you guys missed the first episode of West of Loathing, I just linked my VODs channel. It seems like it's really loud still, huh? I don't know. I linked my VODs channel. I uploaded the highlight from Twitch of the first episode about an hour and a half-ish of West of Loathing. We are indeed going to continue that today. We're playing as our character, Walt Maynard. Look at his beautiful hat. Thank you for the host, Nordic Suomi. It's Nordic Suomi. Wonderful day today, isn't it? Sure is. Nordic, sure is. You, you gonna stream later? How exciting. Okay, so, if you don't know, oh my god, Big Mac redeemed a command. What's up, Big Mac, what you want? Hold on, hold on. I don't have any music to play in the background. Also, where's Nightbot? Exclamation point, nice. Oh, I like that a lot. That's really fun. Big Mac, what's the Pikachu emote? Like the global ones? Like the Pokemon ones? Because I'll add that at the end. It's probably just Pokemon Pikachu, right? Poke. Poke. Pikachu. That? Yeah, I'll add that at the end. Submit. All right, in about a minute, maybe a little longer. Excuse me, that indeed will be added. For those of you who did not catch our last West of Loathing stream. <laughs> Welcome, Brian Q. By the way, if anyone here is not following, I can't tell you how much a follow means to the stream and mostly to me because the stream is just me. But um, as I was saying, we're angry. Uh, no, if you didn't catch West of Loathing, this gives you a pretty good idea of what it's all about. Just look at this right now, you know? So the lighting's, eh, whatever. We're gonna, here's our partner, Doc Alice. Hey kid, what's on your mind? What should we do next? Well, if you're looking to find out the lay of the land, thank you so much for the follow, Brian. If you're looking to find out the lay of the land, I'd guess a railroad crew would be able to give you a fairly little real interpretation. Makes sense. All right, so, we're just kind of playing an RPG uh, that's just, Funny, I guess. The old man stares off in the distance listening to the piano. He doesn't react to him at all. How about you guys? Discussions about guns and which of the. Oh! <coughs> you got it, gentlemen. K Kona. This man points to the sign on the counter. I'll buy some slop. Let's check it out. Play to slop. Increases your maximum HP for five by the rest of the day. Eat it. <laughs> You chat out on the slop wondering why pigs always seem to enjoy this stuff. Slop fed. I love it, Big Mac. Look at that. Plus five max HP for the day. Is this an AC unit? No, it's a dartboard. What am I thinking? It's like the 1800s. Stage? I swear, this kind of game would absolutely have an achievement or something for hitting the cowbell a thousand times. Up there. I tried. Kitchen? Hey, what are you doing in here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type, eh? Well, I prefer adventuresome. Kevin, you have a fever? Oh, no. Cowbell. That's a cowbell reference. Also, it looks like I'm a little laggy. So I'm gonna close a few windows. Discord is now closed. If you need me... I'll check this one on my phone. Dude, I was like concerned for a second for you, Kevin. I was like, now is not a good time to have a fever. But now, fever for cowbell. As it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm out of salt pepper and need someone to go pick up some for me. Go pick me up some more. <laughs> Wonderful stream. What's up, Nordic? Thank you, man. Salt pepper, isn't that made, isn't that used to make gunpowder and other things? Look, who's the chef here, me or you? Okay, okay, where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. This is that lady from Monsters, Inc. They keep it in little green jars. Fort Cowardice, great name for a fort, by the way. Slop, 
Lady's too busy washing dishes. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Alright. Let's leave the saloon. We didn't really explore dirt water. Also, there's a trough here. It's for water. It's water's for horses only. Hello. Here's my horse. Thud. He snorts the gratitude. Saddle him up. Oh. The Dave Yard? Fort Cowardice and the Railroad Camp. Hold on, I want to explore satisfying amount of meat. Good point, Brian. Brian, are you familiar with this game? Because, uh, it's a good game. Dirt Water Mercantile. Can we buy anything of use? Hello there, welcome to Dirt Water Mercantile. A bit. I, I played, um, I, I had six hours before I started playing this on stream. Um, but I don't remember a ton of it, so I'm really excited to experience a lot of this game again. So here's what I have, and here's what they've got. Pudding, a shovel, I have a shovel. Tooth powder, blood sausages, soda. I feel like, ooh, a book though. I can learn a new snake oiling skill. I'm sorry we had satisfying meat, but I wanna learn a new snake oiling skill. There's a recipe for a quick brew potion that fortifies your body, mind, and spirit. Give strong medicine, a combat skill that temporarily increases your muscle. Mm. There's also a letter to the editor from the woman in Wyoming who had an amazing idea. What if you just shot someone three times instead of once? Gives fan hammer, a combat skill that allows you to do three range attacks. And you can just increase your speed. Okay, chat. Give me your opinion on, the, on which of these three skills we should learn. A, a temporary buff, a good ranged attack, or a speed up. Up to you, chat. Up to you. I'll be waiting. I vibe with speed. I mean, speed's not bad, I'm sure. Speed. Practice the techniques described in the article until you're moving so quickly that you can't even see yourself. That's funny. Then you notice you can't see the magazine. You must have dropped it somewhere while you're moving so fast. Whoops. This girl is selling flowers? Sweet smell. You're welcome, little child. Oh, nice. It's a, it's a buff. Dirt water post. It's it's the post office, but it says post of ice because this other F is kind of. Hi, I'm Walt Maynard. Any mail from you? Mm, nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. Alrighty, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus. It's my little brother, letting him know what you've been up to and that you're okay. Cool. What's this, huh? Telegraph. Jail? Wait, first of all, why is this lady so mad? Lady! Can I help you? You got it, Nordic, you got it. Looks like quite the game. It's it's really good writing. I've never played like a, a writing-based game before this. What emote is that? Oh, I like it, I like it. That's one of Bry's emotes. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we currently don't have a sheriff. I wanna be the sheriff. I, I, yeah, I don't have any law enforcement experience. Have you been to sheriff school? Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all of the local ordinances? Do you even live here? No. Then what, may I ask, intarnation in italics makes you think you'd be qualified to be the sheriff? I just assumed. You just assumed that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on the first day? Well, if you put it that way, she snorts. Five, five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who waddles in here thinking that they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on an iron. I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. I'm sorry, lady. Need any help until you can find a new sheriff? Sure, if you're good with a gun, there's always somebody you need to justice. Wanted posters in the back, cells over on the yonder. Um, I'll do those some other time. They seem like side missions. Lot available. A vacant lot. Another. Hello, sir. Another.
another vacant lot. Hello. Is that an umbrella? What the hell is this guy holding? A vacant lot. A vacant lot. Looks like we're all looking at the same thing right here, huh? Yo, what's up, Waz? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Waz? It was good playing with you earlier. I got a little tilted playing in a European K rule player, but it happens to the best of us. Waz, if you. Um, hello, Thud. Thud is my horse. Let's let's go for a ride, Thud. I want to go to the Dave Yard. Oh. You find a crate lying by the side of the trail. It's lid, locked noose. It has fell off the back of a crate. LDT stencil on the side, which seems a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. Open it up. Oh, I got a lock and a lasso. Nice. We're in the dave yard. Ugh, my horse is pissed that there's skelly mans. Wait, I don't want to dig up a grave. Here lies Dave B, died with his boots on, but not his pants. I remember this from when I'm, f I think all these are celebrities. I think this is Dave Coulier, I believe, from Full House. Let's dig up this grave. I got brown boots. It's kind of whack, dude. Plus one at action point, that's kind of good. <laughs> Let's fight this skeleton. Hold on, we've, we haven't, we've yet to do a combat with Doc Alice. First of all, I should not attack Doc Alice. Um, let's shoot it. Oh, she's a shotgun blast and she can heal me, nice. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Did he shoot me, dude? Hit him with a, no, hit him with a knife. Now Doc Alice is shotgun. Should probably kill him. Yeah, what's up, Wolves? How you doing today, Wolf? Welcome to the stream. Mysticality up. A handful of loose teeth. Alice picks up a bone and examines it carefully. Dave Coulier. Let's fight another. Hopefully we don't have to do like grinding in this game. Dude, he hit me with a board, just straight up. Disrespectful, Dave Skeleton. I'm just leveling up. Dude, they give a ton of experience. Oh my god. Whose grave is this? Dave J. Pow. I don't know that reference. I know Dave Grohl is here somewhere, right? Dave L. Died of a heart attack. See you in... Free lunch. Nice. Here's Dave Grohl. He's looking for this guy to he's looking to this guy to save him, but even this guy can't save a feller from like 40 angry bears. There we go. You have two Isabel amiibos? That's kinda hype, dude. The truth was out there, it killed him. I wish I knew. Murdered by a different fella named Dave G. Skull with an odd tag on it. Right, let's beat the dickens out of another. Hold up. Shoot him. Shoot a man. I gotta set up my, my phone with chat on the side of it. I keep having to look out. Um, Twitch app on my phone. Let's turn off the volume in case. Right, shoot him back out. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Whatever. Whatever. Shoot him. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we can speed up combat, I'm pretty sure, if it comes to that. Right now, I can get down with combat. I got spookied. I got spookied twice. Victory. Dude, I level up a ton from fighting these skeletons. This is one of those things they have in mausoleums, you know, one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons. Oh, I guess this is where you would grind skeletons if you wanted, like, what the fuck? Um, come on, 
guess. Some kind of ritual circle drawn on the ground in red chalk. Sure it's chalk? But uh, this one's telling me it might not be chalk. A large stone sarcophagus. This is a pile of mostly burned rags that maybe used to be a person. Investigate. A gore splattered scroll, human ashes, and a robe receipt. Scrape off the largest of the giblets off the scroll and read it. It says to take a pile of human ashes, spread them out in the shape of a person inside the red chalk circle, then sprinkle them with stardust and place a mostly perfect, or better, glass sphere. <laughs> Marimba, hell yeah. It sounds really good. The music, the sound design, music in this game, phenomenal. Anyways, that's the gist of it. There's a lot more of these and those and such as that. Plus, there's a lot of weird gibberish you're supposed to say out loud when you're doing it. Well, I have human ashes. I don't have stardust. I don't have a glass sphere. So for now, we're gonna... Yeah. Wait, I have Stardust? I definitely don't have a glass sphere. That's kind of weird that the only thing I... You know, let's fight, let's fight one big group of skeletons. See how it goes, we're gonna try it once. Shoot this guy, and then Alice's shotgun hits everyone, right? Nice. Ooh. Gagarinas. Ooh. I haven't tried deploying a snake. Let's try it. Bruh, this snake's so bad. Come on, snake. I trust him. He shot my snake! No! I like that snake. Snakey. He's got three, so Doc Alice will kill him. Let's shoot this guy. Ooh, we might lose this battle. We are not in great shape. Ooh. Hold on. I can kill this guy with the gun. Doc Alice can heal me by 10. Nice, nice, nice. She just dumps her tools on me? That's so funny. They're only attacking me and not Doc Alice, and I don't like that. Uh, we're gonna do it more time. I was aimed at the dead one, but whatever, I guess. Let's knife this one to death. Three up, three down about baseball analogies and moxie gold tooth skeleton bones alice has become stronger nice alice levels up by fighting skeletons 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 all the above so let's go to fort cowardice i feel like there's there's missions we're missing out hold on let's talk to doc alice doc what am i forgetting yeah, we fought a bunch of skeletons. Don't worry, Doc. Don't worry. Find the railroad crew. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Cap. Kevin, we should um. Uh oh, I clicked out. We should uh get a few people together and and play some tabletop sim games. That sounds like a good time. Let's see the Dave Yard. Let's go to Fort Cowardice, I guess. Oh, as you're riding along, you see some braided fuses sticking out of a nearby rock. Investigating more closely, you see that somebody drilled a hole in the rock and inserted a bunch of dynamite, but apparently lost interest and wandered away without sending off. Let's get two dynamite, hell yeah. I agree, Kevin. What is, what is this? When life gives you cannons, make a cannon. I don't get the joke. I'm sure that's a good, funny joke. But what's a cannonade? They heard an eagle in the background. Oh, there's no one in here. Nice. Administration. Cabinet's empty, full of boring records. Incredibly boring records. I thought that might have been like an act. No, no, I knew it was a lemonade joke. I thought maybe a cannonade was like a literal joke. Like I thought, I thought that was a like a level two joke, 
Like, I thought it, maybe a cannonade was, like, a thing in, like, Fort Bragg or something. Okay. It only works on one level. Looks like there's some good mess here. Take it. Whiskey and a hard tack. Well, hard tack sucks. It's a spice rack. A salt pepper, dude. I found it. I do not have lock picking. I completely agree. There's several goblins snoring inside. Leave them alone, dude. I'm not trying to fight goblins. This must be... <laughs> Speaking of good jokes. This must be the math that... Holy shit, that's such a good joke, dude. What is this? It's a cot soaked with blood. Yike. I rendered them looted. That's funny. Okay, I definitely don't have safe Kraken. This sign says toilet and goblin, which makes sense. Makes it pretty likely to goblins use it as a toilet. No way are you going in there. This mishap definitely got somebody fired. Um, unusually sized cannonball. Lit. Brian, what Smash games and Smash characters do you play? I play primarily Ultimate and Melee. Um, I guess I've played Smash 4 before, but I'm not really intending to play that game again sometime. Hold on one sec. And uh, I play a lot of characters <laughs> between those games. Falco and Marth primarily in melee. Also, am I lagging? I feel like my camera is lagging. Why is this not a fluid motion? What the heck? Camera. I'm gonna hold on. Hold on. Let me let me reset my webcam. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, chat. Don't mind me. Configure video. Okay, that looks better. Configure video. Nah, whatever. I think the game might lag me. Yeah, yeah, now I'm in the game, and I'm kind of like lagging, I think, and now I'm not in the game, and I look fine. What the heck? Let's surrender. I'm angry. Oh, surrendering ends the day. Okay, what the fuck was I thinking? I was like, I want to get to the settings page. To, um... I'm wondering why this game takes up so much. I wonder why it makes it makes me laggy. I don't like it. Let's see if Task Manager can help us sort this this shit out. Brian, what what, uh, what Smash games do you play, my man? Ooh, yeah, my uh, resource values, system idle process, OBS. Okay, OBS is. Yeah, yeah, okay. Change that. Uh, Steam, why do I not see West of Loathing anywhere? Project Plus, if that dies, I'll go to Melee. Project Plus is great. Who do you play in P Plus? I would play it more, but now that we have um, Rollback Melee, I really like just wanna play that. Hmm. How do there? How do there? I'm wandering Sally. I'm not in a voices mood today. <laughs> I'm wandering Sally. Howdy, Sally. I'm Walt. What's your line? Trading. I wander around these lanes, just like it says on the label. And I buy a little here, sell a little there. Wait, I am live, right? Wait, what the fuck? Why am I only streaming? What the fuck's wrong with my internet, dude? It says I have zero dropped frames, but my I'm literally transmitting like nothing. Is this, hello? You guys see me, right? I'm transmitting like a sixth of the bits I'm supposed to be. Bits of the bytes, that's the word, kilobits. What the fuck? I mean, if it works, it works. Um, yeah, what the hell? What is happening? My stream quality is good, I'm live. But it, it, it what the heck, man? My video quality? Yeah. I don't know why that happened. Hold on. I'll be right back.
let me um yeah yeah it definitely says like my internet's being really bad i'm gonna play some music for you guys um and i'm gonna go see if i can fix this without having to restart the stream be right back yeah no for me it says i'm transmitting like no bits at all like I forgot I muted myself. Enjoy enjoy some music for now if I can get it to work. Um, and let's see if I can fix the internet. It's the second he leaves, it's fine. It's because I'm fixing things. Hold on, let me run a speed test. Let's see if it's better now. It's better, but it's not good. Yeah, what the hell is happening, dude? I wonder if I should play Death Road to Canada, because this song is so good. Yeah, okay, it's getting better. My internet's slowly picking its shit up. Okay, whack, but it works. Hold on, it's getting a little, a lot's going on. It looks better now. All right, yeah, yeah it looks like we're, we're about two thirds of the way we used to be when it comes to like the data I'm transmitting. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we can trade with Sally. Okay, we're getting we're back up there. You didn't like Death Road? It didn't look that cool though. The music looks really fun though. Toasty. Hi, Sally. A lock? I already have a lock, right? I don't really need a lock. Pickaxe seems good. I don't have enough money though. Not not nearly enough money. Work boots. Fungicide bomb. Of soap. Needles. Needles seem really useful. I bought all the needles she owned. Okay, what can I sell? I have nothing of much value, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? We're in a good place. Pleasure doing business with you, Sally. Wolf says I'm eating three bagels. That's a challenge. I love bagels. You see a sign that says Snake Spring over yonder. Of course I'll go to snow. Oh, that's nowhere near where I was going. The heck? Alice, what's up? What do you say, Alice? There's an old mission not far from here. They might let you check out your catacombs, if you ask nicely. Well, that sounds awesome, I suppose. The old mission. All right. Dirt water. Dude, I, I don't think I've eaten three bagels in, like, one setting. Oh. You know how we just fought the skeletons? This is how we do the same thing with, um, with snakes. So we should probably make some, uh, some items out of our snakes. Since now, since we are snake oilers, we can can use these snakes, right? Let's grab a handful of them. 20, 24, 22. Oh. That's a lot. Dynamite? How many does that do? To one enemy? Ooh, snakes are good against snakes. That's kind of funny. Now let's shoot them now. Ba bam. Bagel with butter and cinnamon sugar. That's where it's at. That sounds good. Ooh. 
I'm more of a cream cheese kind of guy. Holy crap, that snake does a lot. Guys, I think we're gonna die. We bit off more than we can chew. Run away, run away, surrender, 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 surrender. <laughs> do that again. It didn't seem like we'd get much of a penalty. Alright, if we need to, we'll come back and fight those snakes. Let's go. The old mission? No. Let's go to the railroad camp. Alright, the menu's a little wacky, I'm not gonna lie. You find that flyer for a dynamite store up north? It's charter on the edges like got blown up by an explosion. Dynamite dance discount. Dynamite dare house? Let's, let's keep going to the railroad camp for now. Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. I mean barbecue though. Like with barbecue sauce? You have to eat a uh Are we there yet? Won't be long, dear. This I should never be put in charge of a switch. Why isn't the train Yeah, what why isn't the train moving, sir? Say that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this gal who runs a store down south of here named Name a oh, button willow. Button willow mick something. Button willow mick Kittrix. You can't miss it. It's between a cactus and a different cactus. Don't mention it. I'm mentioning it. No thanks. No, really thanks a lot. He bur he bur furrows his brow. I want to say burrows his frow, but that's not a word. Don't mention it. Mention it. I mean it. I really appreciate you telling me where that store is. His eyes narrow. Really, it's no trouble at all. Don't mention it. I mean it. I've run out of ways to thank you, but I really do want to. I really do want you to know that I'm very grateful for your help. His face starts to turn red. Do not mention it. He looks about ready to punch you if you don't knock it off. Stuff like that's why the writing in this game is so good. Hello, lady. She's an expert whistler. Prick. How are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I can do to help you want to know something. I love trains. Oh, ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me like dragons. When the opportunity arose to take on management of this rail line, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing and building and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you will ever imagine. You want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going home to play with my models. Oh. I do have protagonist syndrome. I guess I'm the boss now. Man looks you up and down. Well now. Well now. I suppose you ain't, you know. He's like, this guy's a nerd. He goes, well, I suppose you can't be any worse than that last clown. He extends his hand. Name Smee. I'm your assistant. <laughs> What's the situation, Smee? Well, I'm sure you didn't see, you didn't miss seeing that giant pile of rocks blocking our path. The surveyors say there isn't any other suitable mountain pass. So we gotta reroute around it. We, we can't reroute around it, even if we had the months to take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculations, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. Problem is, it'll take a lot of dynamite, a whole year's worth, I figure. We used to keep that much on hand for emergencies such as this one, but a pack of goblins stole it all. Sneaky little varmints. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Not interested in helping some form and you turned out to be. I'll tell you this for nothing, though. If you're looking to get any further west, you won't be doing it without this train. Like I said, it's only one pass and none. Nuts. Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll help. The goblins are holed up in Gustavsen Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might want to spend some time getting away, getting the lay of the land, honing your fighting skills before you head that way. It says, like, telling us RPG stuff. Especially if you plan on going in. Guns blazing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just got two bangers of messages in a row. First one is gonna be come together as a community and stop naming children Smee. Look at this little nerd. And then Brian also says, I wish goblins were real. Yup, Gustavs and Gulch. We don't need that specific dynamite though. Any you can get the your hands on. How do you know they're not? Good question. Uh, well, can't I go to Dynamite Dance? Counter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and a broken spare spectacles looks like the family of especially literate homesteaders. L literate. L liter they read a lot. Homesteaders met an untimely end here. Tragic. 
I found another snake oiler book. They're hiding the goblins from us, Brian, I'm sure. This is an old back issue of a popular magazine for snake oilers. Alright, chat, 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 chat. Fan him, a combat skill that allows you to do three range attacks, is a recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction that looks like it might be a fight. Gives good medicine, a skill that lets you recover HP in combat. There's an essay, Extolling the Virtues of Shooting Wildly Without Looking Where You're Aiming. It gives Shootin' Annie a skill that allows you to fire a bunch of bullets at random targets. What are we thinking, chat? Fan hammer, good medicine, or shootin' Annie? I'm not telling you, please tell me. You may never know. Brian, you may never know. What are we thinking, chat? Shoot Nanny, please. Brian. Brian. Brian, are you okay? Blink twice if, if you're not okay. Of course. I always will go with RNG's. Jesus. What the heck? It's like gun bullets in different directions? Gun bullets specifically, by the way. Not any other kinds of bullets. You read the essay and really take its lessons heart. You file wildly into the air until it feels like second nature. Unfortunately, it looks like several of your stray hot shots hit the magazine. It's pretty much a Swiss magazine about cheese at this point. I, I see your deal, Dynamite Dan. Wolf says, I read wrong, I read shoot nanny. Brian is asking the hard hidden questions. I'm glad Brian's here. Oh. This is exactly what I need. But it's incredibly expensive. What kind of goblin is the real question? <laughs> So I should probably... The music really picked up. Holy shit. The music's kind of banging, dude. Um... I'm... Are you guys okay? Blink twice. Alright, so we should either go to the gulch where all the goblins are, you know, let's do that, just to quell this goblin conversation down. Oh my god. The sound of gunfire draws your attention cautiously to where you find a goblin shooting a large pistol at some boulders with the sound of gunfire and pinging ricochets from near the goblin. He doesn't hear you approach. Well, fortunately, I know how to speak goblin. Um, oh, for I forgot. Goblin tongue is, like, super broken English. Hold on. Um, you are too excusing me? Oh, yes. Hello what? Hello. The rocks. Why to shooting them? For practices. The cracks in rocks. To shooting for a crack shot. I to seeing. I don't have Hornswoggle on too. I'm gonna attack him. I'm sorry, young man. He's got a lot of HP. Uh, looks like he's weak to knives, though. Which makes perfect sense. Yeah, shoot, shoot him, Alice. That's not good. Can you heal yourself? Yeah, do that. <laughs> she just drinks. Okay, that's really, bro. We're gonna have to have a talk, okay? Stop, stop it. Alice, continue drinking, please. Bruh. think goblins could be mammals i'm pretty sure in this game at the very least they said goblins are like mushroom people cracker hat cracker jack hat do goblins lay eggs don't uh platypi lay eggs though hold on what's my hat do right now plus one moxie and then the cracker jack hat is plus two pistol damage hold on let's put it on see what it looks like Sure, we're blending in. Hello, sir. A fancily dressed goblin steps forward. Hi, hello, being a mayor, welcome. Now, going away, please. The goblin seems friendly, but blocks your entry into the gulch. <sighs> Talk to the goblin. Can I not coming in? Sorry, only for goblin beings, very private. Hornswoggle in two? How do I get Hornswoggle in two? 
I think it's just a random level up. Alright. I like what he's doing, though. You know what? Let's see if we can complete maybe some, uh... Some other missions while we're here. And maybe we'll have... We'll level up one more Hornswoggling by the time we can come back and convince this guy we're a goblin. Oh, you see a streak of fire blast across the sky and land just over the horizon. You ride to the side of the impact and find a meat eor. 600 meat. Well, damn, if that happened every time we traveled, we'd be able to buy a year's worth, su year's worth supply of dynamite. Oh, I do not like what I see. No, don't leave, don't leave. I mean, I would, you know, I would like to leave. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, Brian. I decided I'm going to do auto experience this run, though. This playthrough. Just because I always forget to spend experience. So we're just going to leave it on for now. It's an empty relic case with a spot for a skull. A spot for a pelvis. For finger bone. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, slow down. Okay, what happened? Our holy relics, the saints. The saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them back? I didn't know what... The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? Take a deep breath and calm down. I'm Sister Mary. My name's Walt. What about the saints? Our missions... Well, our mission is, our mission's mission is to protect three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my job specifically to look after them. Wait, do they call you Memento Mary? I don't know Memento Mary. What is Memento Mary? No, they do not. Hold on, what the hell is Memento Mary? Memento Mori? Memento Mori is an artistic or symbolic reminder of the inevitability of death. I hate that. I hate everything about that. Hold on, back to the game. Okay, sorry, sorry. What happened? The saints, oh, it's too horrible. They just came to life somehow. They came out of the catacombs all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but I nearly fainted. And they took back their relics, yes. And if they aren't recovered before the Cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. Oh, and how much time is that? Well, actually, he's a month overdue, so it's probably not all that urgent, but still. I'll get him back for you, Mary. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. Are you gonna have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's probably blasphemous, too. Uh, I mean, probably, but if black magic brought them to life, then that's super blasphemous, right? It evens out. Oh dear, the Cardinal's gonna want to have a very long talk about this, but go ahead and do it. You must, I suppose. Alright, you got it, Mary. Uh, good luck down there. Thank you, sister. Submission Catacombs. I don't like that it's called Submission. An empty. Uh, it's a precarious pile of pyramid skulls they're all riled and twitching kick it over are you sure there's a lot of them they're really mad maybe you're angering all of them at the same time i'm doing a handstand isn't a great idea run it dude they're all floating holy shit holy oh my god we're dead hold on what is shooting annie i don't have enough experience uh surrender don't mind me gentlemen don't mind me don't sh 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 no one saw that you're angry I don't lose anything else, right? Oh, I have to go home. Fuck, I forgot I had to go home. Hold on, I gotta get angry again. Angry. Well. Hold on, let's go back to the mission. It looks like we're a little outclassed at the mission, but let's try it again. Ooh, the map, it's freaking out. Butterfield Ranch, an old dairy ranch. I'm good for now. Looks like there's a lot of little pl Bro, pew, 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 pew. Didn't even notice. Uh, don't mind me, skeleton skulls. This skull is a good tooth, gold tooth. 
this skull is twitching in an unnerving fashion. Though I guess there's no way it could be twitching that it wouldn't be unnerving. Let's try. Okay, this one's got the same stats, but instead of five, it's just one. Let's shoot it, I guess. Ooh, it does a lot, dude. But Alice leveled up, so she does five damage now. Kind of nice. That's fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, we're totally fine. Thank you, Doc Alice. He is pretty spooky, though. Ba bam Grit and a gold tooth. This skull is sitting at a weird angle. I guess that's notable for some reason. Look under it. A souvenir spoon. Ooh, plus three moxie in your offhand. Uh, let's do that, because moxie's guns, right? Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I shoot a lot more than I do other things. This skull's whispering at you? It sounds like gibberish, although really creepy gibberish. It's an empty alcove. There's a little serial number written below it. Oh, hey, this is where that skull you found goes. Let's put it back. I got experience for that. Nice. Speaking of, exclamation point, nice. What's up, Big Mac? Thanks for coming back. Like this. What the? It's a skeleton with two skulls. Additional skulls. I need one more AP. Yes. I hate this guy. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna punch me good. He punched me good. This is very unnerving to me for some reason using skulls as boxing gloves. Insane. He's got one HP. Thank you, Doc Alice. Now let's study the remains of undead foes. Show me what those skulls do. Wait, I didn't read the sign. This way to the Paseo del Santo. It's about, it's about saints. I don't know what Paseo is. It's a plaque. Here lies St. Beefus. After his diet, his body kept trying to rise to heaven, but it was so heavy, it just kind of flopped around a bunch. They had to inter him with a big stone sarcophagus to put it in. That's a big stone sarcophagus. I would need 10 muscle to open this. I don't want to deal with St. Beefus. I definitely don't want to deal with this hall of saints. Do you speak? Is that Latin? Spanish? Italian? Here lies Santa Cortada. She was drawn and quartered by heretics, and then the quarter that had her head on it was beheaded. Oh. The dismemberment was so effective that no nope, Spanish, thank you. The dismember uh, I forgot quartered is getting pulled into four pieces by horses, I think. The dismemberment was so effective nobody was able to get her body to stay together even after she was just bones. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Uh, these are all skill checks. I definitely don't have 10 mystic mysticality to put this in. Oh, and then if I pass all the skill checks, let me guess, I can give them their relics back. Here lies Saint Pope. He was excommunicated for impersonating a pope, but there was some kind of bureaucratic issue, so they weren't able to unbeautify him. Be 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 is that like a beatitude? Beatify him? <laughs> all right, seriously, guys. So I have 10 moxie, we're good. St. Pope stands be beatifically behind the dais. Dais? God, dude, I haven't been to church in a long time. He just keeps doing his Pope gestures, ignoring you. How can someone look so smug without even having a face? The longer you watch him, the more he gets on your nerves. Insult him. You unleash a torrent of insults that would make a sailor blush and a sailor's mother. Ashamed of a sailor, St. Pope's eyes narrow. He looks like you finally managed to get him mad enough to fight you. That was kind of fun, dude. That was kind of lit. I'm not gonna lie. That's, this is really funny. <laughs> Bro! I can't deal with the skeletal cardinal. Throw dynamite. No, I'm throwing dynamite at the Pope. Kevin, are you still in chat? Throw another dynamite at him. 
Oh, we have to fight him too? I'll fight the Cardinal. Hold on. If Kevin's not in chat, I'm going to add... Add quote. I'm throwing dynamite at the Pope. NC Sam. It's our 19th entry, evidently. Sleaze? I was anointed! That's really funny. Anointed. I don't think that's an actual statistic. Oh, I didn't realize you could do exclamation point quote and then a number. I thought it was just random. Yeah, you get a random quote for typing exclamation point quote. <laughs> you put an end to St. Pope's heresy once and for all. 66 experience. I got the Pope's pelvis. Fake Pope hat. Alice's light eyes light up and she's had an epiphany of sort. I like how you guys... I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the... Uh, <laughs> the... Uh, you like quote 10. Let's put on the fake Pope hat. Don't mind me. It's just me, the Pope. Okay. What's up, Vanilla? How are you doing, man? Thanks for joining. That was, I said that quote to my dog, okay? Oh, wait, don't leave. I'm the Pope now. Hello, madam. I just saw an empty coffin just inside the catacomb door. Don't worry about that. We're just storing that for an escape artist. An escape artist? Yes, he was taking his act on the road, but needed to lighten his luggage, so he gave us a generous donation in exchange for storing it for him. That's sus. Let's put the pelvis back. Adam, I returned your pelvis. You're welcome. Kevin, I added a quote while you were gone because I, uh, I threw dynamite at the Pope. So, exclamation point quote 19. Hey, thanks for stopping by, at least for just a little bit, Vanilla. What, uh, what quote vanilla? I can't remember off the top of my head. Should we check out the Butterfield Ranch? We, we definitely just can't fight all those gobble. A cow? You're gonna have to deal with this cow if you wanna explore the area. Of course I'm gonna deal with the cow. Oh my god, he's a hell calf? This does one damage to him. Bro, this cow might, might FRS up, dude. Uh, hacksaw? Bone saw only attacks skeletons? Okay. Oh, okay, he doesn't do that much damage. Oh, Alice! How much HP do you have, Alice? Ten? She can't really stand another, uh... Another cow charge. I can, though. I hear you loud and clear, Brian. Loud and clear. This cow is actually strong as ish, dude. Shoot it again. Alice, heal. Oh, I healed me, not my. Not, I didn't have her heal herself. All right, we're fine. Alice can heal herself this turn. Also, why am I loading? Do you guys see that? My mouse was kind of loading for a second. I also worry about you, Brian. But that's okay, buddy. I'm just glad you're here. Bam! Shoot him, Alice. Nice. Wow, that calf, hell calf, kind of strong. And a roasted cow tongue and extra thick leather. I need a haystack. I found a needle in the haystack, of course. There's a rope tied to the fence. Yeah, rope. Red hot poker is that an item or a weapon? Cause that'd be kind of cool for a weapon. <laughs> Why well, I reckon I hardly know her. Right, that's, that's good. I like that. Uh, it's stronger than our knife. So look at that. We're just armed with a. Do you have any better guns now? Deals hot damage instead of physical. It's kind of funny. 
You noticed some words carved in the side of the outhouse. Curly was here. Wait a second. You recognize that name? Curly, Curly Butterfield. The legend of Curly's meat. Maybe this outhouse is worth investigating. Luckily, you don't actually have to go inside the outhouse because once you open the door, you find a map scratched onto the inside of it. The map reveals a location of a mine just by the ranch. So there's an inset map of the mine itself with an X scroll between three strange triangular icons. Is this what you churn butter with? You have nothing to churn? Well, good point. Uh, yeah, monster, monster's in there, and I think dog. I think both of those are in there, vanilla. To your horror, you see that every single cow in the Butterfield Dairy Herd is now an ungolith. Is that how you say that? An infernal cow spirit bound in stone, not dangerous unless you get near them? I'm good. I I'm, I'm really good. Those are actually terrifying. I don't have lockpicking, too. Well, that was cool. Let's go, thud. Goblin with others. No response. And no results. You know what that means, Brian? You can be the first person to draw that. Which makes me uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Um, what do I have to do? Oh, I wanted an extra stat, but you know, let's just fight the goblin. I wanted to hornswoggle him, but... You encounter a bandit who doesn't look very bandit-like. Very bandit-like due to the lab coat and slide rule holster. Unfortunately, she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat. Unfortunately, you might not have been able to tell. Hey, you got a vanilla. Vanilla, we're probably going to be doing Pokemon at like 7 o'clock. I, th I think we might do this for two hours. Maybe 90 min minutes, we'll see. Uh, hand over the meat. You don't seem to have a gun. How about I punch you out and leave instead? I'd like to see you try, because I've invented an anti-punching ring. Test it. Now I'm gonna fight it. Um, just, I like how she, she like. I like her sound effects. That's really funny. Science punch. She science punched me. Well, didn't stand much of a chance after that science punch, unfortunately. Oh, horns woggling level two. We can do it now. Let's hornswoggle this goblin. Talk to the goblin. Can I not come in? Sorry, only for goblins being very private. Hey though, outside the gorge, I was seeing a thing you liking a lot. Oh, what thing? What thing do you liking a lot? Hmm, pies. There are pies all over, out there being. This seeming dubious, but would neglectful being not to checking it out. The mayor takes a fork out of his pocket and leaves. Cool. The sign says nothing interesting in Goblin. You, you, you see a Goblin? No, 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 don't fight it, don't fight it, don't fight it. Library in Goblin? Go inside. Crude bookshelves. So very complicated numbers. All you can tell about this book is it concerns extremely high level mathematics. You don't have the vocabulary to understand any of it. It probably still wouldn't if it was written in English. Your brother would probably love it. Let's keep browsing. How to bird noise. This book is extremely detailed treaties on, I don't know that word, on the sounds that different birds make. You probably wouldn't expect to learn how to do an accurate great crested grabe impression from a book, but that's how detailed it is. Nice. Alice going into the looking glass. This popular children's novel has been translated into Goblin. Jabberwocky still reads much the same. Oh, it brillig being and toves of, okay, I've never read Alice in the looking glass. Hold on, what, what is this? Delicatessen? Of course the deli's locked. It's a word you don't hear a lot, delicatessen. Storage? Yeah, I'll check it out. Nice. Of course. Yeah, pants? Oh, they do, t they do minus. No, 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 no. I'm good. What were the other items I picked up? A sandwich. Oh, I got the ring from the lady. I didn't even notice. Plus two armor. 
better than the nasty ring. I'm good for now. Hold on. What is this? Red herring storage? I gotta check. They're uh, uh fish wizards? Ooh, shoot nanny? Shoot, shoot a bunch of targets at random. Let's try it. It didn't even hit him! Alright, so that's what you use in big enemy combats. He threw a fish at me! He threw a fish at Alice! I hope I didn't lock myself out of any events. Yeah, I did do more damage than a regular shot. You are correct. Right. Absolutely correct. He's throwing fish, dude. It's pretty good at that fish doing thing, though. Press any key to continue. 32 experience. Nice. You look around the building, it turns out just to be filled with rotting fish. It's a joke on the term red herring. The mayor is not here, so. Investigate the bed. It's a cactus. The desk, important secrets. Read the important secrets. You learn a variety of secrets. Though the only one that's actually pertinent to your circumstances is a spare key to the treasure cave in 69105. Hold on, let's go back to the storage. Right, 69105. Storage? Keep looking. I got the key. There you go. No, no, no. We already, we already checked out the mayor's house. How about, uh, about this house? Theater? You press an ear to the door and hear someone delivering what sounds to be like lines from Hamlet, except in goblin tongue. From this vantage point, you also notice a sign next to the door reading backstage entrance here B, with an arrow pointing to the back of the building. Let's go backstage. Oh, God. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Brian. Thank you so much. Hope you come back in the future, my man. We're going to be playing Pokemon soon enough. Soon enough. Sneak back. Stay. I'm gonna do this once. If it does the entirety of Hamlet, I'm not gonna do it. But I'm gonna give it the first chance. You sneak backstage and watch the play from behind a curtain. Not only is it a goblin version of Hamlet, but it's, oh, it's also rewritten as a one-man show. <laughs> to being or not to being? Oh, that is a question. Could it better thinking to suffering a crazy things and error? This is probably really funny if you knew the monologue from Hamlet, but off the top of my head, I only know some other parts. Or fighting so many thing, too many bad things for stopping them because fighting to dying to sleeping to sleeping. Hey, dreaming maybe, but oh problems. If dreaming crazy when living, what dreaming have after dying? Wow, pretty weird probably. Oh, thank God I watched uh, <laughs> the bits where the actors had to sword fight with themselves. Is pretty interesting. Quick on the draw, level up. Nice. Cafe. Go inside. It's locked. Never mind. Guard barracks. Nope, I'm good. I have the key now, so hold on. Is there anything over here? Nope. <laughs> I unlock it. Go inside, of course. Uh, hello, sirs. This goblin is paying more attention to their book, Goblet, than to you. But you seem pretty sure you aren't going to be waltzing on by. Hold on. Is this book Hamlet? But since I watched the play, I know the ending. Let's go. How about you? Oh, these were all skill checks. We had to check every house. Oh, I didn't unlock some of the houses, though. He uh, give him... Bird call, bird call. Yes. Unlike the other two, this one's being very attentive and seems very suspicious of you. Also, unlike the other guards, they have a name tag that says Gene. A Gulch Goblin Treasure Guard. Did I say something? I missed it. Bro, this guy's got a lot going on. Snake him? Oh yeah, let's, let's snake him. Apply some poison. Thank you, Alice.
Oh. Uh. Do I have any? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw poison at him. Throw. Let's just throw a bunch of poison at him. We're gonna cheese our way through the fight. And uh, let's just whip him again with the snake, I guess. Oh yeah, we're fine. Unless he one shots. That's. Let's, let's... Oh, he has a bunch of armor, so uh, fire poker doesn't do a lot. He did murk Alice, though. Oh, I have a bunch of needles, so I can unlock all these. Meat. A year supply of dynamite. Nice. Lock picking. I do not have lock picking. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the railroad camp. Uh, attack them. I don't. I didn't even read. Oh, it's skeletons. Shoot nanny. Well. So Alice's ability Oko's skeletons. Um, but I'm gonna shoot all of them with a shotgun. So that one in the corner dies. Especially since their aim sucks. And I can Oko them with my gun. Speaking of Alice, give him the hacksaw, the bone saw. Perfect. Victory. All right, before we continue the plot, guys, I am gonna go grab some food and some water.